Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of CVTV Podcast. My name is Carlos, and I'm here with my co-host, David Dockin, owner of Coralview. How are you, Dave? Uh, and I'm doing great. I'm feeling good today, Carlos. This is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that that announcement of the Maven is it, it's shocking people. I mean, it is. You have no idea how many text messages, how many emails I'm getting. For, I'm getting phone. for it. We get the, blown up. My phone is being blown up. How about you? Emails and everything. Oh man, it's it's crazy. <laughs> Big response. Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, we we could not be happier and uh, and thrilled <laughs> that it has had that response. Considering that people really don't know anything about it. Right? You know? No. No. And it, so, but, you know, Carlos, we, we, we did a survey, uh, quite a few surveys before and asking people, what would they like to see from, from hydros and overwhelmingly, uh, water, water testing, you know, exactly. and, and that's the big thing now that, that people really want. And I yeah. get why, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it and, you know, this I'm pumped. <laughs> So everybody, welcome again for to Coral View Podcast. Uh, we do this podcast very often. I'm not sure if we do it weekly. We try to, but sometimes life gets in the way. Uh, we discuss the latest industry news. We also discuss product, new products and product reviews. So, you know, whether you're a seasoned hobbyist or you're a beginner, you know, this uh, this podcast is, you know, your source of, you know, somewhat expert advice. I mean, Dave and I have been in the hobby for over, you know, combined 50 years and uh, in the industry for a very, very long time. So we also talk about uh, water chemistry, which we're going to be doing that today. Um, and we're going to help you understand how the aquarium works and, and how to be successful and to create that amazing system. And what we're going to be talking about today is going to have great influence on that. So um, whether you want to expand that reefing knowledge or and you want to stay up to date this is the place to join so just make sure that you subscribe and uh, to the podcast subscribe to youtube and uh, you know watch us listen to us in the car you know while you're driving it's yeah. uh, you know or maybe you're just working on the tank turn it on listen to us you don't want to see mm -hmm. me that's fine but you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we got some cool things yeah. uh we got some cool things we yeah, got we, we do we, we have guests and we have a lot of fun. It's very conversational. So, Dave, let's talk about this Maven. Um, uh, Maven. What is Maven? Maven? What does that mean? I mean well, people are like, why Maven? Before what we talk is this? About, yeah, but before we talk about Maven, it's like, let's, let's break it down to basics. Again, we have newbies here. We have people that have, they're not in the hobby. So let's talk about why do we need testing? And that's something that we deal from yeah. the very, very beginning, where we're testing Again. ammonia, we're testing ammonia, we're testing nitrites, and we're testing nitrates. But people often think that that's where it stops, but it really doesn't. Why do we need testing, no. Dave? Why? Man, this is uh, testing's the, the lifeline of your aquarium. It's your window into what's actually going on. Without testing, you're 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 driving blind. Uh, you know, it's the simplest way I can put it. Yeah. And testing will tell you, like you said, like Dave, Dave, you nailed it. You're driving blind. Testing allows you to see the hidden. It allows you to see why things are happening. Um, when things are going great, test to find out why they're going great. If things are not going so well, you test for that. So testing is what you need. When you're sick, what do you do when, when you're sick? The doctor does testing that's what they do because they want to know yeah they run tests because they want to know what's going on um uh, okay dave big question what should we test for i know we know ammonia nitrites and nitrates when you're a beginner but once you get to an advanced or you know middle or advanced what should we be testing for in a saltwater aquarium especially a reef tank yeah uh well alkalinity uh calcium magnesium those are those are some big elements right there. That's, uh, that's absolutely critical for critical. a reef aquarium. I always consider alkalinity like the uh, it's almost like the blood pressure. I call it because yeah. 
Mm. If your alkalinity is okay, if your blood pressure is okay, likely everything is fine. You know, obviously if your blood mm. pressure is okay, you're, you're, you're not, you're healthy. You know, once your blood pressure starts to fall or, or be too high, then there's different things. Then you start looking into it. So same thing with an aquarium. If your alkalinity is okay, then, you know, your calcium and your magnesium are usually good. You should still test for them, yeah. but, they're, but they're good. Yes. Yeah, so we should be testing for that. Anything else that we should be testing as you get more advanced? Uh, to me, uh, the testing for these nutrients, uh, phosphate, nitrate is just that that's critical. Um, you can't yeah. see these pollutants in the water. So you have to test and, okay. and testing is, is, the, is the only way. And that, you know, phosphate and nitrate, we call them advanced, but to me, they're just as important as ammonia, nitrites and nitrates, because they are mm. very frustrating when they're out of whack as they say if your phosphates yeah. are high or your nitrates are high you're going to deal with hair algae you're dealing with diatoms <sighs> and your corals are just not going to look right so no. testing for those two uh is to me the holy grail is phosphate and nitrate because if yeah. i could test those every day i'd be you know well I'd be well, for me, for me, the Holy grail is alkalinity, nitrate and phosphate, yep. calcium, magnesium. I feel like I could test once a week, once mm -hmm. I get established, maybe in the beginning, you want to see, you test that more frequently, but that to me is what, that's what my schedule would look like. Exactly. So let's talk about the Maven. Everybody's talking about it. Maven. Everybody's in shock. Yeah. So the Maven is the newest. What is that? Waven. Maven. Uh, I don't oh, yeah. What's people like? Why? What's the name mean? What's that? What's the Maven? Maven is a is a is basically an expert. It's yeah. a it's a, a somebody. It's knowledge. It's experience. It's the it's source. A, the source a, of all the knowledge. Source of knowledge. The source of and knowledge. To me, this device is going to give you that source. And that's Maven. Maven, the newest member of the Hydros family. I mean, this yeah. one, this one is a, this one's the big boy, um, as I call yeah. it. Um, it it's can been work. working on a long time. Yeah, yep. this now has been going. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, this is this has been a project for quite some time, and and uh, you know we're not we're not strangers to these the what's been on the market previously. If, if you know Coral View, we're also a distributor. We've distributed um, quite a few other machines and, and actually brought plenty of them to the market here. Um, so we, we've gained a lot of knowledge, huh, Carlos? I mean, Carlos is the, is the go-to guy. I said, hey, it's got to get past Carlos before we even consider taking it. So, you know, and I was going to bring this up. Is, uh, we have worked very closely with other companies. I mean. Coral View mm -hmm. was the first one to bring, we were the first company to bring in the Cage Guardian. Remember that one? Yep. Remember the Cage Guardian? It's still mm -hmm. around. And we worked oh, very, yeah. cl we worked very closely with them to make tweaks, to make changes, to make it easier yep. on customers. And then those suggestions were also, you know, uh, looked into and and studied by the subsequent machine manufacturers. And a lot of those yeah. changes that we made, that we, we helped KH Guardian make, you can see them on many of the machines that are currently out there. Uh, just because yeah. we, we worked together with them. I, mean, I remember KH Guardian, we worked on it for months before we could even bring it out into the U S market. Mm -hmm. There's no secret, you know, Coral yeah. was the nope. cage guardian. I understand, you know, we make, we, everybody makes business decisions and, and it, you know, at that point it just, we parted ways. I make believe we were very good friends, yep. but you know, it, it, yep. we both, we both learned a lot. So yep. that knowledge of working with the machines, that knowledge of what problems 
customers had because we also did the support for them. We also did all <laughs> the uh, replacement parts, support, troubleshooting. Yep. We learned a great deal. So when you think of uh, CoralView, maybe not having so much experience on doing testing machines, <laughs> we actually have more experience than any other machine out there because we pretty much done them all except for like two. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah except for two yeah all right Dave. can the maven work by itself or does it need to be part of the hydra ah, collective yeah. it's a standalone device you don't need another hydros uh, or this or that a team with it it's it's its own entity do we um so that means that i can grab the hydros app by the maven by itself and test test everything I want. I don't need to have like an XP8 or, or I don't need to have nope. uh, an X4. You know, I could, but I don't have yep. it. So that's it. That could be my nope. first Hydros device and I'm it's, happy it with could, it. Absolutely. And you're yeah. in the Hydros world. And, and if you decide to expand from there, you, you look at those command bus ports that are on there and then you just start connecting them together. So we could... Could you say that the that the Maven along with the Minnow would be a good option? Absolutely. Yeah. That's a that's a very powerful system, I would say. I would where say you that. can dose your, your two part, um, you know, gain your, your results on uh, calcium and or alkalinity and, and, and make decisions based on those readings. Exactly. And then, you know, so you could keep adding more things. So the Maven is fully compatible yeah. with the Hydros Collective. You know, that makes it so much great. But the Maven also has a brain. So it does have an ESP32 yeah. rover chip inside. So it's capable of connecting to Wi-Fi outlets, Wi-Fi feeder, you know, single outlets. So it can do everything that the other, pretty much every other Hydros device can do out there, uh, which is amazing yep. because most of the devices out there, um, some are some work as individuals, but some need the controller. They they can't work without a controller. Mm -hmm. So there's the Maven has a little bit of both, which is great. Now, I love this feature, and it's just mm -hmm. one of the best things about it is that it has that industrial hydros look. It it, it, oh, yeah. it it's it was built to last. It was built for the environment, you know. And we'll talk Absolutely. about a little bit about yeah. the way it's built later, yeah. but yeah, just first glance, Dave, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I mean, it fits right into the, the Hydro's world and what we're doing and trying to to make something that can withstand the elements. And it's that, IP65. That's what it comes down to. It's Absolutely. not IP, no, I'll take it back. It's not IP65, but the way you mount it because of gravity, water is not mm -hmm. going to get into it i mean unless into you spray it water go out yeah exactly unless you yeah. sit down and spray from the bottom it, 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 you know in a specific way it, anything anything mm -hmm. that splashes on it it's just going to wash it, down it's fine it, it will be fine so technically it's not ip65 yeah. but it's pretty damn close to it oh yeah you know? yeah. yeah it may so be like what, ip63 or something you know that's lower it, it lower grade that ip rating but yeah but I love the rugged material, Dave. I mean, you have, you, you know this, we go to trade shows and how many times do we get, I love the look of the hydros. It looks like yep. it's meant to last, you know, and then they take well, they it, think they it, put, it. It looks like it's, I it, think it doesn't look like a toy. This just looks like something that was built to, to withstand a, a, a harsh environment. Exactly. And I appreciate and, people for recognizing that. That was we, one of the big things when we set out on this course that, we wanted to make. Yeah. Yes. All right. So Dave, big question. What can yep. the Maven test? Let's tell everybody what can the uh, Maven test? Yes. So calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, uh, phosphate, nitrate. Fantastic. So those are, the, those are the, the parameters to start with. I mean, that's, that's what else do I want? Because that and any, Anything else, obviously, you're going to have to go with an ICP machine, ICP testing. Fauna Marine mm -hmm. does a fantastic job with their AI. Yep. It's, it's heavenly. Um, but to have a machine that can do alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, phosphates, and nitrates, 
it, it's it, it's it's the holy grail. And then on, it is. Top, on top of that, Dave, we made it so that it works with the Hydros app, which means that it's got a very versatile schedule. So, Dave, I don't have to test alkalinity and then be forced to also waste reagent testing mm. calcium and magnesium. I can That's make the huge. decision. I can make the decision mm -hmm. of when I want to test for calcium and magnesium, because as we all know, right. calcium and magnesium do not fluctuate as much as anything else. So you even said right. it, right, Dave? You only test once a week, maybe once a month, once the tank is stable. Uh, yep. At the beginning, maybe a little more often, but once it's stable, I only test. Unless my alkalinity goes completely off chart. If my alkalinity mm -hmm. is always stable, my calcium and magnesium are probably going to be it's just right there. fine. Just fine. Mm -hmm. And then yep. you can also test nitrates and phosphates. And now I I'm gonna I, I yep. test I test phosphates and nitrates every single day. Because again, you know, really? we had we at Coralview, we test everything. So just like just like everybody <laughs> else, there's there's one installed here, there's one installed on Dave's. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we're just not, you know, we're we're running. How often yep. do you test it, Dave? What uh PO4, NO3, phosphate, yep. nitrate? Yep. Who? Uh you know, at least once a day on those. Yes. At yes. least once a day. Now, you and I recently yep. installed a nitrate uh, uh, sulfur reactor in the oh, Maven. The Maven that's, the, well, that's a, that's a big reason. Yep. Yeah, exactly. The Maven that's was just, big. it made it just easier to do that because it was so much easier to calibrate the reactors with, with the Maven. Mm -hmm. um, so you can test alkalinity every few hours. You can test calcium and magnesium once a week. Hey, you can do it once a month. You can test phosphates and nitrates, you know, once a day. Yeah. The machine gives you versatility. Now, the machine can only perform one test at a time. So, you know, that's one thing. So you, you can test alkalinity. Calcium and magnesium are tested together. So that, that's considered one test with two results. And then you can test nitrates and you can test phosphates. So it's just a matter of scheduling it. You know, you can test phosphates at seven o'clock in the morning, two hours later, test nitrates. Uh, you know, then every couple of hours, you know, you can test uh, every four hours, you can test alkalinity and calcium and magnesium mm -hmm. just tests once, once a day. It, it, it's, a, it's, the versatility is there. Um, uh, also, I love the fact that um, the reagents that the Maven use in, uses, they're very easy, easy to source. You can get them all from, from Coralview. But yep. what kind of reagents are they using? Are we using off-the-shelf reagents? Are we using – what are we using, Dave? These are our own proprietary reagents, Carlos and – you know, we're not, this machine is not like some of the others on the market where they're telling you to go buy somebody else's test kit to be able mm -hmm. to then fill vials and have spinning uh, carousels and actuators. And, and we don't do any of that. We, we provide our own reagents for you. And, uh, and we've come up with a really simple design that we believe is, is going to be very reliable as well reliable in terms of repeatability yes which and is important in these tests and i wanted to kind of elaborate on the on the reagents because i know there's there's going to be people out there that are that are going to not be happy because we're using proprietary reagents but there's a reason mm -hmm. there's a reason to the madness and the reason is that yeah for us to deliver a machine that can give you reliable tests that means that we have to ensure that you're reusing reliable reagents. Now, I'm not saying that the reagents out there are not reliable, but Coralview has no control over them. If exactly. there's a if if there's if there's something that happens, Murphy's law, Murphy's law, you know, something that happens, we have no control. If some if a company changes the formula, and we <laughs> don't know anything about it. We have no control. So it's not because we want to keep you locked into the Maven and the Hydro's world. But on this one, 
it was a tough decision, but we decided that in order to pro, in order to ensure high quality, precision, accurate testing, we had to go with our own reagents. And not only that, too, Carlos, we've seen before in the past with some of these other machines that they weren't able to get certain test kits from certain manufacturers. And at that point, you can't test. What do you do? What so do you do? What yeah. you, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> and we can't mm -hmm. control it. So this, you know, is all a part of giving the, our customer the best user experience possible. And having our own reagents made here is is what we believe will will do that. Absolutely. So you know, I wanted to emphasize on that. I know it's going to be a touchy subject for some people, but I wanted to give you. I we wanted to give. We wanted to give people our explanation for our reasoning. This is why we're doing mm. it. Uh, whether you agree or not, you know, that's up to you. But it was a. It was a hard decision, but it had to be done to ensure that accuracy. Yeah. Now, Dave, how many reagent bottles are there? Yeah, so there's going to be seven reagents, seven yeah, bottles. So, so, so one, one alkal alkalinity, oh. one, one calcium, yes. one magnesium, and two each for phosphate, two each for nitrate. That's correct. Um, so it's going to be a now, total of seven, seven bottles. Now, let's talk mm -hmm. about built the built how the design of the reagent because i know there's pictures mm. out there i know there's a uh, there's a video in there uh, uh, there was a, a a launch video but it really didn't yep. get into details so let's get into the into the details and we're not going to get into all the details of yeah, it we but won't. i think we're, yep. we won't but let's talk about this so we decided it has to be easy to maintain i mean like uh, Carl, like, this, when, we, simple. when I said we were setting, when we were going to set out on this, I said, this has to be something that an end user can perform service on. Exactly. We don't want to get into having you send in the machine and, or you can't access it to, to change out hoses or to clean the, the cuvées. I, I mean, this to me was, was absolutely imperative that. The, the end user could service the machine. We designed it so that the, you can remove the cuvee from the machine yep. in 30 seconds. And then you can clean it or you can or replace it with something new, replace. with a new one, which is going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to be expensive, but 30 seconds to remove it, 30 seconds to put it back and then snap it in and it's all done. That is it. That's how yep. simple it is. And for your maintenance. Yeah. And some people are probably wondering, well, how are we doing that? Well, if you look at the, at the front of the machine, you'll see a little concave uh, piece right there. Well, that actually has the, that's the way that it holds the cuvee. And it's exactly. sealed. So there's no, you know, you probably, maybe you're wondering, well, where's the electronics? We're actually using prisms. So the, the, the laser or the LED light shines through and then back to the electronic eye. So that's so a you, little insight of how we're doing this. Exactly. And it's so actually this, magnets that holds it on, Carlos. There's no screws. You just take it right off. Mm -hmm. Boom, here it is. Clean it, so, replace it if you want. Yeah, so one of the yeah. things that we decided, again, this part of the design process is like, how can we develop something where let's be on i say murphy's law all the time but it's mm -hmm. there you know no matter how you do no matter how you program it no matter something is going to happen and it's going to cause the testing bio the cuvee as we call it to overflow it happens let's be honest it happens so how can we create something that when it overflows it doesn't affect the electronics how how can we yep. isolate the the water from the electronics and what we did is that that plastic front piece that is magnet attached to the system is separated from the electronics by the lid of the box where the electronics are the lid is transparent so the like dave said the light the led goes through the transparent lid and it bounces off a prism the 
electric the electronic eye is behind the transparent wall the pumps are behind the transparent wall the uh everything is behind that so if you were to run a test and it overflows it's not going to do anything to the components inside and that Correct. was huge yeah. for us it was it took us a while mm -hmm. to figure it out but once we figured it out it was it, it, it just made sense yeah yep Okay, so it also uses very, very high quality pinch valves, um, um, as well as a as a single stepper motor, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You don't have five, six stepper motors that you're going to have to calibrate. Technically, you're not going to have to calibrate right. anything. Um, and yep. uh, and the pinch the pinch valves are very reliable. We've been using them for a long yeah, time. It just and other companies that we know have been using them for years without any problems. Mm -hmm. So those are great. Um, it also has uh, a very strange thing, Dave, and it took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> so I, I, I'm going to leave you and, and, and let you explain. It has an air pump. Yeah, it's got an air pump inside. It's a tiny little micro air pump with a little tiny diaphragm. And the reason for that is we we purged we purged the the line after each test, so that gives the the maximum um, safety and that we're not cross contaminating another test. We blow the line out, we remove it from the cuvee, we blow it again. Everything is cleared out of the lines, so no cross contamination can happen. That's that's fantastic. So it's just a little secret <laughs> weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, not so secret anymore, I guess. Yeah. But no. Nope. What we and and this comes important because the machine doesn't have it's not using RODI. We're not using RODI to flush nope. anything. It's it's just salt water. It's it's salt water in and then the waste goes out. So it's mm -hmm. it, it's very very easy to maintain. We keep it simple. Um another thing that we love is that we wanted to do and we it was a must. Hydros is known to make things simple. Our ports are coded, are color coded, which means yeah. that our sense ports are green, our dry ports are orange, our pH and ORP probes and conductivity are light blue. So every single line on the on the Maven coming out going to a reagent is color coded, so you know exactly which reagent you must connect the line to. Yep, and that makes it. As simple as possible, because so you, as, yep. yes, you don't want people to cross the lines, and then all of a sudden you have nope. very, very out of range mm -hmm. tests, and and you and you're trying to figure yep. out why that's happening. So we're trying to make it as simple, right? And the best, one of the best features, and I keep saying the best feature because I, I'm just so <laughs> excited about it. I'm so I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited that people are going to be able to use what we've been using for a while. You know, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Is Dave? It has two salt water intakes. Oh, hmm. you know, you know. Wow. And the thing well, about I yeah, I know that. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a second thing. Um, Dave and I, you know, we we have our system, and we installed a sulfur reactor. And in order to yeah tune a sulfur reactor you have to constantly test the effluent water effluent is the water coming out of the reactor mm -hmm. and then test your tank water so every nitrate test was multiplied by two so if two. i test in the morning i had to test twice if i test in the afternoon i had to test twice you know because every time i was trying to you're trying to dial your sulfur reactor and dave and i just yeah. got sick and tired of it i mean it was <laughs> sick and tired of doing it i'm not doing this right. crap so then we yeah. went to we went to the engineer and said, "Okay, we need a second input because I'm not dealing with yeah. this stuff right here." So that's what we did. So you can actually have a second input that you can put the line into and pull from, so you can test your um, um, nitrates and your uh, phosphates. You know, uh, yeah. Your calcium reactor might be a little tricky because of the concentration. You know, the concentration might be too high to test. It'll test out of range. You know, the alkalinity might be a little mm. too high or the calcium might be out of the range. So that one's pretty hard. But when it comes to phosphate, when it comes to nitrates, 
it will work wonders. Also, if you want to use a, if you want to test a second tank, second, a second now tank. It, the only stipulation is it needs to be close. You know, you can't have this go all the way in another room. But, but some people are running tanks or systems very close to each other, and and we can now accommodate adding a second system to the Maven. Exactly. A lot of places have, I mean, not just farmers, not just aqua, aquaculture uh, facilities, yeah. but regular people, they have a big tank and then right next to it, they have a, they, they have a reef tank and right next to it, they have a harem tank with anemones and clowns mm -hmm. or they have something else. Yeah. So a lot of people, you know, once you get into the hobby and you love it, you, you go, <laughs> you go crazy. in all the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're hooked. Yep. So having a second tank is not yep. unheard of. So that's what we wanted to that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make it so that you're not stuck with one system or one one saltwater in. We put that second. You don't have to use it. You don't have to, yeah. but you have that option. All right. Dave, this is this you know, we're covering everything um it's it's a light it's a light yep. um, intro. There's a intro. Yes, yeah. exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. It's a light intro. Uh Please know that when it comes to the Maven, when it comes out, as it comes out, before it comes out, you'll be what you'll be, uh, we'll be introducing lots of videos, lots of how-to videos, instructional videos about how to use it. But trust me, the Maven is we we made it as simple as possible. When you yeah. plug it in, when you open that hydro sap, everything is going to be pre-configured already. Aside from you creating the schedule, everything is done. You're not going to have to choose a pump. You're not going to have to assign a pump or anything like that. Everything is going to be done for you already. And that's going to make it a lot easier. I actually venture to say that installing the Maven is going to be easier than installing the IV on the X10. You know, yep. even though you have more as pumps, crazy as it sounds, yeah, yeah, as crazy as it sounds, yeah. as crazy as it sounds that you have more pumps and more valves and more reagents, I know. it's that it's actually going to be easier to use than the IV, which is yeah. which I it, that's something that again we we you know Dave has brought this on previous shows. We listen to people, we we watch what they're saying on social media, we. You know, I like to do support, you know, I'm part of the product development team, but I do support because I want to see what people are asking. I want to see what problems mm -hmm. people are having. So we're constantly evolving. And that was one of the things that we wanted to, um, that, that we wanted to do is make it as easy as possible. So yeah. Dave, people are going to be asking about the price and the availability. We don't know. To me, we, the, the, the most important part in this is that we have the machine where we have uh, repeatability, mm -hmm. um, reliability. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not releasing it until I I'm fully satisfied. Um, yes. So if that takes a little longer, I'm not going to put something out to the consumer just for the sake of dollars. Um, this Correct. is uh, going to be a critical piece of equipment that people are going to rely on. It, it needs to be done right. Where uh, we believe it is, we were using it, um, but we we want to get some more beta testing done, and mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to do. And and when we're ready, it, it it's going out. Yeah, that's the but best I could give you. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, we wanted to let our fans, our Hydros users, know because yeah, if if there if there is one thing that people have been asking since the beginning of oh, Hydros yeah. is a testing yep. machine. Well, and you yep. know, and it, they, so many people want this, and I wanted this to be able to tell people, "Hey, we're working on it. This is what we're doing. It's coming. It, yes. If you want to wait on us, if you like what we've been doing, um, it, then that's what you can expect with this." Yes. So I felt like, "Hey, let let's let people know we will be showing it. It will mm -hmm. be at Reefa Palooza, all of Reefa Paloozas this year, and any mm -hmm. shows. It will be working." We'll be there to answer any of your questions and and show you how it works. Absolutely. So hope you'll this come is, out and see us. This is such an exciting time for us. It and, is. Uh, and personally, it, it's so great to be able to talk to people about this because 
we've been working mm-hmm. on it for such a long time and we haven't been able to say anything about it uh, to the point that if somebody asks, are you working, you know, so how come Hydros doesn't come with a testing machine? And Dave and I and, <laughs> and the entire Coral View team is like, like oh, it, it's so ready to just if say, you only yes, knew. if you only knew we have it, <laughs> but we couldn't yeah. say anything until we were ready yeah. to actually announce it and i think mm-hmm. today is one so it's a bit of a relief i understand there's going to be a lot of follow-up it questions is. it's going to be a little more work for everybody oh, yeah. but that's the fun thing about it. that's that's why we do this you know yeah all right and, and we're going to come back on this 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 topic for for a couple more videos on this carlos because i think there's a lot more we need to you know go into depth about and, mm-hmm. and and discuss and we'll give you more of the features that are built into this machine and but uh you know, felt this would give you a good intro to to Maven and, and, and what we're doing. Absolutely. Well, that's a wrap for this episode of uh, Coral View Podcast. Um, we hope yep. you enjoyed it. You, we hope that, you, uh, that you're just as excited as we are about this brand new Maven product. Uh, before we go, again, I like, as always, I like to extend a big thank you to all our listeners. You all are who the people that make it happen. You are the people that we make this. This is the reason why we stay late and record. This is the reason <laughs> why we, we spend time writing, <laughs> you know, and Dave chuckles yeah. about that because we know, you know, yeah. but you are, who, you are the people that make us want to get up in the morning and, 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 and excited about working for that, for yeah. that. For, for the product it, it means a lot to us it means the world to us um if you have any questions comments or if you just want to send a suggestion of a new pro, a new topic for our podcast please head on over to support.coralview.com or you can connect with us on any of our social media channels also remember that you can catch the video version of our podcast over at youtube uh be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to our podcast, so you're notified as soon as a new episode is released. We want to give a special shout out to the crew here at CVTV Podcast. Uh, as I said before, well, Dave and I get to be in front of the cameras. There is there are a lot of people that work. Yep. A big shout out to April, our producer. She's always there. Yep. Um, probably uh, have, having a nervous breakdown sometimes, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> because of what Dave yep. and I do. But um, you know, yeah. she her dedication is unparalleled. We we love you, April. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank of course. You. Big thank you to my co-host, Dave, here, who is uh, the owner yeah. of Coralview and the one yeah. that makes everything happen. Thank yeah. you so much, Dave, for being on yeah, the show. We, uh, thank you, guys, and everything you guys do for Coralview. So greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. So see you next time.